Hello everybody, hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel. I'm back today with a charity shop thrift shop video and today's video is a collaboration and also a bit of a challenge so I am so excited to film this one. So today's video is in collaboration with one of my favourite YouTubers called Freya Farrington. I've been watching Freya for probably a good year now and I love her videos. She is brilliant when it comes to thrift shopping. Also with bargain buys as well and home decor and she manages to pull out the most stylish pieces in every charity shop that she goes to whether it's clothing or homeware she's got a good eye so I think you're going to really like her so I should mention that she's a blogger from Manchester or just outside of Manchester I think so it'll be really interesting for us to see how the charity shops compare in the north of England and then here in London I know a lot of people say to me that they find the charity shops in London quite expensive but I think that there's quite a good range here so I'm going to show you around some of my favorites today I'm going to leave Freya's YouTube channel and all of her social media links down below she's got a couple of Instagrams you can go and have a look at her fashion and her uh, home decor as well. She's really into her neutrals and I've kind of been inspired by that because as you know I've been trying to cut down on my wardrobe size and the things that I'm buying. I think she's got a really good like colour palette going on. She's very minimalistic, super stylish, you'll love her. She's a lot of fun as well and she, like me, loves a good Greg's and <laughs> a takeaway coffee, don't we all? Um, so I think you'll love her. So go and check her out. Um, but basically the challenge that we're doing today is going to be a 10 thrift store challenge or 10 charity shop challenge. So basically in one day we are going to challenge ourselves and each other to visit 10 charity shops and just see how we get on. So rather than buying loads and loads of stuff, I'm going to vlog in each of the charity shops, give you an idea of what's in store, I'll show you what the charity shop is, I'll tell you um, whereabouts it is in case you're in South East London ever and you want to um, have a little thrift afternoon yourself. And then I'll show you the prices and pick out my best finds. And if there's anything that I really want, then of course I will be buying it as well. So before we get going, if you're new here, don't forget to click subscribe. I'm posting new videos every single week. And if you enjoy this video and would like to see more videos like this one, more thrifty charity shop and all that good stuff, then do give this video a little thumbs up. Right, I'm going to have a quick sip of my coffee. Where are you? Charity shop find from Kate McCabe. Thank you very much, Kate. And we'll get going. First stop is going to be Peckham. Okay, so I'm on my way now. I forgot to say as well that I've packed, or I bought with me my backpack, and inside that I've just bought a massive carrier bag with me because sometimes in the charity shops they don't always have carrier bags, or the ones they've got are tiny, so it's good to take a big strong one in case you find anything good and you can fill it up and without any worries. And my other tip is what I'm wearing, so you will notice that I've got Although it's freezing cold today, I've got a lightweight jacket on and just like a loose sweatshirt. There's nothing worse than rummaging around and then getting too hot. As you know, I, I get hot in shops. <laughs> the stray cats are enjoying the sunshine today. We just I didn't say the time either, so I should probably keep you updated on the time. So I think I set off at 11 a.m. So that'll give you an idea of like how long this is all gonna take. And this is the first place we're going into. It is Sense for people with deaf blindness and associated disabilities.
thinking this would make really good DIY. Just swap out what's in there and it would make a really nice tray. It's four pounds. Mm, I'm quite tempted. Really like the handles on it. quite nice stuff in there but I've come away with nothing. I really like that tray. I thought that would be quite good for a little DIY or something but don't need it and I haven't got time to be doing DIYs just at the minute so I'm gonna hold off. Next stop is trade and they've got a sale on where everything is from two pounds which is good news. trying on this jacket is Burton and it's down to I think six pounds at the moment. They had 18.99 on it originally which I think is pretty steep for a charity shop for Burton menswear. I think it'd probably be about that price brand new but um, yeah I love this colour. Unfortunately I think it's a little bit snug it's a size small but um, yeah we're liking the rust. And I've also picked up this woven bag which is in the everything else section so that's two pounds and I think very Freya inspired. I think Freya this would be right up your street <laughs> and I'm actually going to use this to put a plant pot in it. Just a couple of doors along next is the British Heart Foundation. This one's relatively new as well. I think it's even open in a few months now.
So I've come out of there with nothing, hands are empty. It was very well presented in there. The good thing about that one is there's enough space in there to be able to go through things quite quickly. You can be able to, you've got space to move the clothes along the rail, whereas found in trade the rails are a bit too packed so it's quite hard to go through them and it takes more effort and then things end up falling off the hangers. So yeah, it's a shame when they overfill the rails, but I guess we've got to put the stock out. Next stop is the Old Life Charity Shop. This is an independent one. I think this is the only one um, for this charity, I think. It's not like one of the chain ones. And this is also in Peckham. They've often got some really good furniture pieces in this one. And this is a nice cabinet in the window. A bit bashed up here and there, but you could easily paint this or just go with the bashed up look. Very nice. How much is that? Can't see. Let's have a look inside. We've got a leather sofa here for £35. That's very good. The mirror there, £8. Oh, that sideboard's been sold, so someone's already got that one. I think my favourite thing in there was those metal tables that would have been really good on the uh, roof garden, I thought, but I don't think they're quite the right style for how we've got the roof garden now, but if it was how we used to have it, where it was a bit more shabby, I think they would have been really nice to put plant pots on, and they were £5 and £8, which I thought was a really good price. We've got some really nice bits of furniture in there, so definitely worth checking out your local charity shops and also the British Heart Foundation if you um, are furnishing your home because they've always got some really good bargains. I bought that um, that cabinet for £35 was really good as well. Um, so the time is now 20 past 12 so we're four shops down and I'm going to take a little break now and go and get a bite to eat um, in one of my favourite spots and I could do with a coffee I think and then um, we're going to head into Camberwell to hit up some more. We're going into the Peckham Pelican now. Still can't get push-pull doors right. <laughs> we're well into January. Camberwell now and I think there's probably three or four that we can go into there so I've not been there for ages so it'll be interesting to see um, what they're like. I'm quite surprised that I've only bought one item so far. I feel like having done the big declutter a couple of days ago I'm just being that bit more picky and not ending up picking up things that I just don't really need. I mean I don't really need any of it but you know what I mean. I've spied a few places that I haven't seen before, a few new restaurants have opened so it's a good way to get out and about. Um, this thrifting malarkey. You might go to a neighbourhood that you haven't been to before and then um, want to revisit it, to go for dinner or drinks or something. So the first one we're going to go to is in the Butterfly Shopping Centre and this is Cancer Research.
missing pound land that I've got to stay focused, so we're not going in there. Next place we're going into is called Royal Trinity Hospice. This one looks really cool, nicely displayed, everything. There's a whole rail for Freya right here. Look at that, let's have a quick look. They've really nicely categorised everything in here. Hi, I'm good, thank you. How are you? Good. two tops so this one's by Cos and it's five pounds and an ASOS shirt I think this is the nicer of the two so let's go with that one and I was just about to get that top from Cos and then I noticed it had like a mark on the back that I didn't know if I'd be able to get out. So that is a little tip for you that when you're um, hitting up the charity shops and the thrift shops, you do need to really look at all the garments. Just make sure they haven't got any stains or any holes in them and things like that. Cause um, yeah, you don't have to go back and return them. I've not seen this one before. This is called Crisis. I think this one's relatively new in Camberwell. Looks like they've got some furniture as well, which is cool. Barber jacket, 50 pounds. 
Next up, we're going into Scope. we're going into it is cancer research and everything is three pounds or less bargains a candle for two pounds i don't know if it's any good but it smells really nice um i think there's somewhere is there somewhere up this way that we need to go i've forgotten where the other one is um so yeah there's one shop left and i've only bought two items so we'll see how we get on the last one and the last one is going to be this scope
and that is the last shop done. The time is three o'clock now, so what was that? 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, four hours worth, and I did stop for lunch, so I'd say about three hours in total to get round 10 charity shops or thrift shops and wherever you're watching from. So yeah, I hope this has given you some inspiration. Obviously I didn't buy loads, but I'm trying not to after the big declutter. Um, but there were some lovely bits in some of these stores, wasn't there? There were certainly some things that I might be going back for. I really liked that wicker tray, and I also liked the tray that was kind of like a frame um, that I could do a little DIY on. So I might pop back in there and pick that one up. Um, but I'll show you everything that I bought when I get home. All three items when I get back. And not before I've had a vegan sausage roll and a coffee. Okay, I'm home now. I popped into the Tiger £2 sale um, after I finished doing my charity shopping, which um, I did some damage in. So if you want to have a look at that video and you haven't seen it already, I'll link that one down below. But I'm just going to quickly show you all the items that I bought in the charity shops. As I said before, I haven't bought too much because I'm really trying to think about all my purchases and just get things that I really love. But hopefully coming around all the charity shops with me gave you an idea of the sorts of prices and how they can vary in London and also the sorts of things that you can find the different labels and the pieces of homeware that you can find because I think we saw some really nice stuff today but yeah it just wasn't all for me and didn't really need it all so let's show you what I bought the first thing that I picked up was this woven bag so I've had a look inside at the label this was two pounds in the trade sale so it came under other items in there and it's just got these kind of fake leather straps on it and it zips up. But I've had a look at the label and this is, oh there's a receipt, an old receipt in here from someone's had two bacon and eggs, two little custard tarts, a lemonade and a fresh orange juice. They had a nice time for £21.30. Um, but this is a bag originally from M&S um, and it just says made from natural materials. Um, so, what I'm planning on doing with this, I mean it is quite a nice bag, but not a bag for me, but what I thought I would do with this is pop the handles inside it, and then if I stand it up with a pot in it, it'll be um, a really nice plant container. It will fall into kind of a circular shape, and the base um, just becomes a circle, and then a plant can go in there and I think it'll look really nice in the home but yeah obviously it's just a nice bag in itself for two pounds as well so good buy with that one I think the next item is an item of clothing I was very picky with the clothes as I went through them all there's lots of things that I could have easily taken home with me but I just thought about my wardrobe having just done the declutter and thought about the colours that I've already got and the various items and a lot of the things that I saw were either duplicates or the sizing wasn't quite right which is obviously um, something that we can't control when we're thrift shopping. However I did find, where are you, this shirt which I really loved. It wasn't particularly a bargain I wouldn't say, it was £8 so a bit pricey for a charity shop. A lot of the ones that I saw today were a little bit on the pricey side. Um, but still for a French Connection shirt and a really nice quality one, £8 is pretty good going, I think. It's in good condition and I just really love the print on this. So I'm looking forward to wearing this when I visit any warmer countries and I'll be taking this on my holidays as well. I think it will go really nicely. It's a good day to night kind of shirt. And yeah, I like my short sleeved shirts. I wear them a lot through the summer. So good alternative to wearing t-shirts for me, I think. So yeah, I'm really pleased with that. Um, and that's literally the only item of clothing that I bought. And I was going to leave it there, but then I spied one last thing in the final charity shop that I went into, which was the Scope in Lewisham and it was this candle. So this I just gave a sniff. It's a bit dusty, um, so I didn't want to sniff it too hard, otherwise I'd get a load of dust on my nose. But the first thing I thought is this smells really good. So I didn't pay much more attention to it. I just saw this here and I thought it looked like it might say Clinique or something along the lines of that. So I just thought two pounds, let's take that to the till. Didn't really think much more of it because to be honest with you, I was thinking about the Tiger sale and getting over to that. Um, but I just had a little Google and behind the two pound sticker, um, we've got the label on here which says Lalique, and Lalique is a really lovely luxury French brand. So this is Lalique Vertiva, and it says Bali Indonese, um, and yeah, this is a 190 gram made in France, 
beautiful candle and I've just had a little Google of that one and these retail at 65 euros so an absolute bargain for two pounds. I'm so pleased with this. What a good little buy and now I've got the stickers off. You can see how nice the packaging looks. I can't wait to burn this. It smells kind of, it's quite a woody, it smells really really good quality. It's just lovely. It smells like it belongs in a library. That's the kind of vibe I'm getting from it. Um, so hopefully that's inspired you to do a little bit of thrift and charity shop shopping. If you do want to take on the 10 shop challenge where you try to visit 10 charity shops in a day, I know it's easier for some of us than others because obviously it depends how close together charity shops are grouped, but depending on what towns you go to, you may well find that you've got 10 on the same high street or you might just need to go to a couple of places that are nearby to each other to try and do 10 in a day. Please let me and Freya know how you get on. We would absolutely love to hear how you get on and if you find any bargains, be sure to tag us in your pictures so I will link our social media links down below. Feel free to follow me on Mr Carrington, the word Mr and then Carrington for all of my fashion pictures and you can also see my home which is Mr Carrington Home which is where I post all of my thrift finds and I'll share with you any bargain homeware and bargain buys and that kind of thing and also any room makeovers, boot sale finds, all that kind of stuff. So feel free to follow me on those. Don't forget to pop over to Freya's channel now to see how she got on. I cannot wait to see how she's done. She's a really good charity shopper, so I'm sure she's found some incredible stuff and it'll be really cool to see what the prices were like as well um, in the Manchester kind of surrounding areas as well. So yeah, pop over to Freya's channel and don't forget to hit subscribe while you're over there. And if you're new here, don't forget to click subscribe. I'm posting new videos every single week. Do give this video a little thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.